Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another What If video from me and What If Metroid Prime Federation Force was a Wii U title. Now, I know people are going to say that this is stupid. I don't really need to make this video. Like, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But... This thought experiment, this what if, is more about the fickleness of gamers than anything else. And this is something that I've noticed many, many times over the years. So people didn't like Metroid Prime Federation Force. I call bull on that. Because you know what? During that Nintendo... Uh, championships that they had during that E3 where they showed off Blast Ball and people playing Blast Ball, the crowd was excited for Blast Ball before they knew it was tied into the Metroid universe. They were extremely excited. Like the fans were cheering, everyone was going off about this. Like and I remember a lot of people talking about how they liked Blast Ball until it was revealed that it was Metroid Prime, that it was tied into Metroid Prime. Had Blast Ball been a completely separated thing, they wouldn't have had an issue at all. None. Not a bit. <laughs> like, so, looking at that, and I'm like just wondering if you can get behind this before you know it's Metroid, and you can get with the excitement of this game before it was before it was said that it was Metroid you would have liked it if you had actually taken your head out of that the fact that it was related to Metroid or we could go the other way if these two games like were put out on the Wii U instead of the 3DS and they had the looks of the the first three prime games just in HD people would have been all over it they would have been there would have been no, oh, this game is disappointing. But like, no, a lot of people wouldn't have said that because they would have allowed the graphics of the game and how it looked dictate how they felt about it. That's it. Because many people were upset about that game, never touched it. They didn't even touch the Blast Ball demo. So I know for a fact <laughs> like that a lot of people that, are, that, are, that were losing their minds of Federation Force after asking so often for a game that is very similar to what Metroid Federation Force became, Metroid Prime Federation Force became, they would have loved it. But like their big, like people's biggest issue, and they won't, they won't openly say it. Like outside of it, outside of the fact that it was on the 3DS, it was just the graphical look. That was it. That was that was really the biggest problem for a lot of people. It's just how it looked, even though it still retained the Metroid styling and everything. It, the design, the character design, and all that stuff, and the limitations of the 3DS, they didn't, they didn't like that. Which you know what? Fine, I'm perfectly fine in understanding with you not liking the the physical design choice of the characters. I get that. I'm not, I'm not condemning that people didn't like that. What I'm condemning is the fact that people decided to let that be the thing that made them decide that they didn't want the game. Even though it was something that so many people kept asking for. It, it, like that's the that's the biggest issue. It was something that so many people kept asking for. <laughs> that they just they would not fucking put the time into it. They wouldn't put the time into it for some reason. Just because of the design of it. And that's the biggest issue. Like and, and I know personally that that's the biggest thing. That was the biggest thing for a lot of people. And if it come out in a Wii U. And it looked, again, like the older Metroid game, the older Metroid Prime games. I don't think it would have been terribly received. I, I think that it would have been received a lot better. And people wouldn't have been complaining about the quirks of using the gyro for aiming and stuff like that as much. As much. That, that still would have been a complaint because people made that complaint about Star Fox Zero. Like, and if you pay attention, like, the control method isn't... Like, if you pay attention, that, like, those two things aren't exactly that different in how they operate. Though Star Fox is probably more complicated. 
No, I, I can't say probably. It is more complicated. But when I look at it and I'm like, it just come out in the Wii U. Like, yeah, there would have been people who didn't like it. Like, that's that's obvious. It's, it's inevitable. But it would have definitely been better received. And more people probably would have played it. More people would have bought it immediately. There. Oh, crap. Sorry, that yeah, snuck up on me. More people would have played it. More people would have been championing it, championing this game. And more people would have understood that it tied into the next Prime game, Prime 4, a lot better. Because they would have played it and they were like, oh, so this is leading into the next game. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. Which a lot of people who refuse to play Federation Force will never find out unless they're sitting down scouring the crap out of YouTube videos. But <laughs> there's, a, there's a whole different thing to worry about. My point, though, is that a lot of the reason for people not purchasing Federation Force is superficial. That's it. It's superficial reason. It's it's not set in logic. It's superficial reasoning because it wasn't the way they wanted it to be presented. Even if most of the game at its core was exactly what they asked for. A game where you could play with the Federation Force. A game that had a similar feel to some of the Halo games. And a game that gave you something similar to what Griffball was for Halo and Blastball. Blastball is more like soccer or Rocket League than Griffball, but still it's a sport that's in the Metroid Prime universe now. Something that they can build upon and make better. If they want to. But that, that's that's really that that's my whole particular stance on this. That's my whole direction on that. Mm. Crap! These yawns are just sneaking up on me. <laughs> like, had it ended up on the Wii U, it probably would have sold a little bit more. I'm not saying it would have sold way better. It probably would have sold a little bit more because people were graphics whores and don't want to admit it. <laughs> And on top of that, they, they, like, I know, like, the things that they, that people complained about, like, Samus not being playable, all that stuff, that would still, re that would still remain. There's, there's no getting around that, because the game was built around the Federation soldiers, it wasn't built around Samus. It was literally built around Federation soldiers, who were trying to copy the technology of Samus's various suits. Because the Federation is try basically trying to copy her her suit, and the like, because it it, le it lends to the story, to the story to say, that they're trying to get rid of Samus. They don't want to have to rely on her, so they're looking to make their soldiers as close to her as possible. And the best that they can do right now is make four man cells, to do what the one character can do, and they still can't do everything Samus can do. But that that's just me analyzing that. Like and that's some that's a that's a deep plot thread that you like you would think any Metroid fan would want to be able to experience. To be fully honest, you would think that that plot thread any Metroid fan, fan would want to experience because it's something that that's inherent to the storyline of the game. I don't like and Metroid has always been about its lore for the most part. I mean sure the isolation and stuff works, but that's Samus. Not everybody in the universe operates the same way as Samus. And, and like, she operates that way for a reason. Like, so why would you expect a game where Federation soldiers are, are operating in a four-man cell to give you that isolation? It doesn't. It's not meant to. <laughs> that's, that's the whole point. It's not meant to isolate you. Because you're working as part of a squad. That's how the Federation soldiers operate. And this is something that we've known from Metroid Prime 3. So, like, expectations for this game 
were either extremely, extremely off, or, <laughs> or, people are just so superficial and don't want to admit to it and stubborn in their ways. But that, that's, that's how I look at it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So, in conclusion, the conclusion of this is, if Metroid Prime Federation Force were put on the Wii U, Metroid, like Federation Force and Blast Ball, if they were put on the Wii U, they would have been better received by the general crowd. That's it. Because the general crowd is only looking at the graphical styling of Federation Force and not actual game content. That, that's really it. That, that's the, the long and short of it. And I know that this was a, like an 11 minute video for that. So I'm sorry. But thank you guys very much for listening in. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games. Peace out.